hello guys in this video I will talk about how you should uh, design a feature file uh, for your applications right so uh, let's say if you try to recollect in my previous video I have designed one uh, folder called features file okay or you just write features okay you don't need to write feature files you just write features and in the test resource I have added something called drivers so here I have my uh, selenium driver okay which is uh, the latest one because I am using that selenium 3.11.0 so uh, whenever you uh, get the uh, selenium driver from the selenium uh, site you try to get the latest driver also from the same site so for what generally what I do is I go to the selenium hq.org so when you go to the site go to the downloads in the downloads if you look at here you have google chrome right so you click on the latest when you click on the latest uh, it is 2.40 okay which is the latest one you can go for 2.40 and uh, you can go for lower version also it's up to you so you have 2.39 uh, 38 and all that so when you click on this 2.40 okay. this is you know uh, the 2.40 drivers you have uh, in fact you can go for the lower version also if you uh, face any issue okay so let's say if i have to go for or just go for the latest version okay that's fine you can go for 2.40 similarly when you are going for the latest driver you make sure that you have selenium latest for that uh, in the site itself when you scroll not down scroll up you have java 3.13.0 this is the latest one so this is 3.13.0 uh, the dependency which we have so what you can do that is you can go to the project uh, selenium web driver not here S go back maven informations click on that and here you have dependency 3.13.0 so you can take this okay so make sure that you have a latest selenium and latest driver these two things are very very important okay now when i go to my clips and in this feature folders i will create right click i will go to the new other and i will write here file just type here file so once you type here file okay uh, you can click on this inside the general you can click on the file go to the next and here you write login dot features okay login dot features okay uh, dot features is very very important click on finish so login just one second refactor rename login dot i think feature click on okay yeah so you can uh, see that this mark login dot feature this is your cucumber feature file so let me delete the file again and i will tell you why i am deleting the file you go here right click go to the new go to other you write here file next and you write here login dot feature click on finish okay see when you write login dot feature and click on finish this is the you know the data will get generated in the feature file actually this data is very important though uh, you will feel like like why this is getting generated but this will help you to design your feature file right now we will understand line by line what does mean by that so in your feature file if you want to write the author name you can use the gherking, uh, gherking syntax author and you can write the author name if you uh, want to write a keyword summary you can go for the keywords this is the working language feature 
the feature file is nothing but the list of scenario you can make multiple uh, scenario inside the feature file the scenario is nothing but the business rule through a list of steps with argument so this whatever you are seeing that right after, before this colon whatever you are seeing that keyword somewhere these are all you know working syntax we need to follow the syntax whenever we are designing a feature file given some preconditions when some key action then what is the outcome and and but right this will you know uh, it will connect your you know when and then you can connect your sentence by using and and but scenario outline list of steps of, for data driven so when you are going for data driven test you have to use this tag scenario a uh, scenario outline then examples uh, contents for our table okay background background means let's say you have a multiple scenario and before every scenario you want to do something in the background you can go for the background uh, tag okay this is for doc string this is for table for table you have to use a pipeline uh, for tags to group of scenario you can combine them in the tags so like when we design a framework we will have a smoke sanity uh, regression so we can create a tag so we can tag them right so that during execution we can exclude or include those tags okay this is the placeholder and inside the angle bracket we have a placeholder right so this whatever hash you are seeing that in feature file to comment the line we can use the hash right so these are the very important things i'm going to remove now because this is not required for us but for you guys you can read one time two time three time because people will ask you in the interview like what are these tags right what are the syntax what are the working syntax you have to tell them like author keyword summary feature scenario given when then and but these are the syntax placeholder they will ask you like how do you write a data driven test right so you need to remember all the gurging syntax now look at the below example see tag the tag is nothing but the list of scenario the feature title of the feature like what is the feature title let's say sign up sign up with uh, let's say just a sign up sign up is the feature right so you can write inside i want to do a sign up to i want to perform sign up test that is the explanation then tag one i am going to write a tag one inside the tag one instead of tag one you can write sanity or regression it's up to you so instead of this tag one i can write here sanity this is my tag okay inside that i can write scenario title what is the title for scenario so uh, login with a valid credential that is the scenario given like what is the peak uh, conditions and when and and then so it's like what is the prerequisite when uh, the action when you perform some actions what is the outcome so generally your feature file scenario divided in the three parts one is the prerequisite one is the action and once you perform the action what is the outcome right similarly you have one more tag too so this is again you can write sanity again sanity scenario see this outline this test uh, i want to do i want to run this test with multiple set of data right let's say i have a login test and i want to do with multiple uh, set of username and password so uh, in cucumber a data driven test is very very simple okay you can just use scenario outline what is the title of the scenario to use scenario outline to perform the data driven test as you can see here list of steps for data driven as an example and a placeholder so when you write scenario outline and whatever you uh, name you write in the angle bracket this will be considered as a placeholder and the data will get supplied from here to here okay from value to here and from a status to here so this name should match the first row name whatever you are seeing that name value status and whatever name you have in the angle bracket okay it should match so now your this tag to test which is nothing but uh, you can give any name to the tag this test will get executed two times because we have a uh, two records let's say you want to add uh, one more record you can just go for pipe and you can write name three and you can again write a pipe 
write a pipe 8 again you write a pipe let's say you write success okay and keep a pipe then you just do control a control shift f ideally this should get rearranged but anyways i will look at this how to fix that you know there is a way uh, even though these alignments are not proper right you can align them there is a way to do that which i will tell you in my next video there is one actually shortcut keyword i'm not able to remember that or for manually if you want to do that you know you can do like this this is also one way of doing that you can keep the space like this just to keep the line okay okay so this will get executed three times uh, as i said uh, let's say in these two tests let's say sanity and again this tag name i can give as a sanity at sanity sanity tag so let's say before these two tests what you want is every time your uh, uh, you should be in the login page assume that uh, both the time before uh, running both the test you should be in the login page right so let me show you here let's say whenever we want to uh, run the test we should be always in this login page right this step we can write in the scenario background so we can write uh, we can use this uh, syntax where is that scenario yeah see there will be something called scenario background uh, yeah backgrounds okay this is the background not scenario background backgrounds so you can write that the list of steps the list of steps is let's say a uh, user should be on login page that's that is my background like before uh, these two tests the first test and second test i want to be on the login page so which i can write as an background which i will show you uh, in the actual feature file design so this is the dummy feature file which got generated automatically now i will remove everything because i don't want that and then i will design a feature file and then i will show you how you should write a feature file for the login test like how you should write a feature file for supply the username supply the password and click on login which i'll cover in my next video thank you guys thank you for watching this